Yes, good morning and welcome to week seven. Uh, um, as we go through here and we're wrapping up the first big thing you'll notice is there is no, uh, there is no discussions this week as we wrap up um, this course. Um, what is we'll do this week is your research paper here um, that you turned in your topics to me earlier. Um, as soon as this comes up, <clears throat> the uh, we'll take a look at just reminding you and giving you some tips on finishing the, out the paper. Okay, um, I approved your topics earlier, um, so you're going to go back down through here and look at the requirements. So this is just continuing some some of the just the APA format things that we're looking for um, and that I'll be looking for when I go to grade the paper. But the required format is this. You will need an executive summary. The executive summary is kind of the, um, the wrap up that, that precedes your paper or the one that kind of gives you the teaser is what I call it. It's um, you know, give you the highlights um, of your of your paper. <clears throat> excuse me, in one fell swoop. Um, that'll take you about um, one, shouldn't take you more than a page or so to do that. Um, and then you move into pages two through four, which is just basically the first part of that is laying out your foundation, giving me your um, topic and a little bit of background, why it's important to you. Um, and then you'll have two, you're basically your two to three pages of research, um, finding those articles and everything else that might have something to do with your topic, whether that's a video, whether that's um, relevant experts, like it says, business leaders, gurus, companies, any of those types of things. So feel free to kind of do that. Now, um, and you can search all over the place to do that. Page four would be the summary um, of wrapping it all up to together, bring it all together. And then page five would be your your sources. Now um, it could run into it can go up to seven pages. Um, once you get into eight more than eight, then we're kind of getting a little too long. But if you get to anywhere in the five to seven page range, you're going to be fine. Um, if you have any questions specifically about this that you hadn't covered, um, but um, you'd certainly email me. But I can tell you that realistically, you really should be starting on this sooner than later because you will have to do some, definitely some research on those topics. It's not just not going to happen. That's why I approved those topics a couple of weeks ago to give you guys plenty of time to work on this. Um, just the, that kind of wraps up week seven. Um, next week, we'll be working into just the final. Um, I'll walk through how you um, will be taking that in case you haven't used Proctorio. But the other, the last thing I'm gonna close with this week is if you had any um, issues with your group that you want me to make to make me aware of, um, feel free to drop that in um, an email to me and I'll take that into consideration when reading your group topic. So if you if you did have issues with your group, uh, group member or something like that that you want me to be aware of, please drop me a line and um, let me take that into consideration. Thank you. You guys have a great week and we are definitely getting close to the end. Uh, one last point. I almost forgot. Um, also, our um, course evaluations will appear tomorrow. Um, so feel free to go ahead and um, fill those out. They're really important. You should have received an email and there's an announcement as well on those. Um, but they're really important to uh, both myself and the college and working on improving the course um, and um, improving ways that I can get the information to you. So um, feel free to go ahead and kind of um, take a look at those and uh, take a couple minutes and complete those um, over the next 10 days. Thank you very much.